our laboratory pursues uh, metals and materials processing and manufacturing. We do that by studying and uh, inventing uh, new materials processes that offer to reduce the environmental impact and uh, reduce the cost and increase the productivity. The type of materials we work with range from metals, metallic compounds and inorganic chemicals, all the way down to fertilizer uh, that are derived from mineral sources. So think about potassium fertilizer or phosphate fertilizer. In the recent years, we have worked extensively on non-ferrous metal that includes uh, copper, nickel, manganese, cobalt, and some of the bi-metals that you find with them that are uh, the precious metals, as well as uh, the semi-metal, tellurium, and selenium. This new unit operation works extremely well on battery materials. For example, the nickel, cobalt, manganese, lithium batteries, which are currently deployed in many uh, electric vehicles, don't have cost-effective and environmentally effective technology to recycle and reuse the metal elements present in those batteries. Well, this is a situation where the unit operation we have developed enables now to use much simpler technologies and much simpler separation processes to actually recover in a very uh, cost-effective and time-effective manner the nickel, cobalt and manganese uh, contained in those recycling. One of the challenges of recycling is how do we get our hands around sufficient amount of material that there is actually a true society impact uh, down the line. In that field, instead of going toward recycling, we could, but we could be going after a single metal. We could be going after copper, for example, and in that case, we would need uh, a partner with either the existing uh, uh, infrastructure, existing streams, and we would try to, to make the technology um, adapted to the existing flow sheets, which are all unique. Or, on the same idea, we could be thinking of a consortium of copper users being copper uh, manufacturer, so the metal itself, but also maybe copper mining company, and who knows, maybe some uh, electronic producers, uh, producers of electronic devices where there's a lot of copper, and we could basically devise how our existing unit operation that we have developed can be transformative for all the players that are present into that supply chain. And, and this will, uh, instead of being uh, a technology that is just for any recycling problem, this would make the technology very focused and very dedicated to a single metal. I chose the example of copper because it's a well-known uh, metal and very appreciated. Um, but you could think of doing the same with uh, nickel or the platina group elements that I mentioned before. The last direction where we could go would be to go to a local, regional, alternative resources. That would be a situation where the existing market doesn't allow any player to be in the field of metals and minerals processing. We have actually many examples of these regions. If you go into New York State, next to New York City, if you go in the Boston area, if you go in Washington DC areas, these are all areas where you cannot be a metals or minerals producer. And despite that, these regions have huge consumption and huge generation of metals. I think New York State consumes 200,000 tons of copper per year. So, this is an example where, where there is no 
way the existing players could come in and be the major metals producer in New York City or Boston because the, the environmental impact and the infrastructure and the cost associated with existing technology just don't make sense. So this is where, again, the, the vision of bringing back certain metals and minerals processing that would be with a smaller footprint, that would be faster, that could use renewable electricity and be integrated into, lo into the local economy. That's another direction where we could partner with uh, visionary corporations or uh, local governments or uh, local institutions to, to think about how these new ideas that are feasible, that are scalable, how do they have to be developed in order to match these new uh, landscape or these new environments that in the past uh, the, the traditional economy and the traditional global um, uh, trade has has made not competitive when it comes to, to, to metals and minerals processing. So, so I think we, we have, we, we, are, we are really entering that field and we are uh, exploring the entire range of options. But for that, we need, we need the key players to be uh, engaging with us. And engaging can be uh, as important as uh, providing us some materials for testing, all the way to working with us to make sure that the technology we are developing bring all its benefits for the existing operation and the existing challenges faced in the, uh, in the current operations.